Guo Zhong Ying Wen, page 35 and 36. The verb to like. What do you like? I, we, you, they like. He, she, it likes. Like can be used with other verbs or nouns. Subject like, add verb or noun. For example, I like running. Sandy likes to eat pork. Sandy likes pork. Like questions. What do you like? What do you like to do? What do you like to eat? What do you like to do in your free time? What do you like to eat for breakfast? Routine verbs. Brush one's teeth. Do one's homework. Comb one's hair. Wash one's face. Before we talk about these routine verbs, we must first review the possessive pronoun. I, my. You, your. He, she, his, her. It, its. We, our. You, your. They, their. These sentences use the pattern SV at a noun phrase and an object. I brush my teeth. He combs his hair. We wash our face. Bess does her homework. Pages 37 and 38. This is different from Mandarin. In English, we like to clarify the ownership of the object. For example, take the common phrase, I brush my teeth. I don't brush your teeth. That would be weird, but not impossible. Quote, Bill did my homework. End quote. This sentence is not impossible, but it is not said as frequently as, quote, I did my homework, or you did your homework, end quote. Month's review. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September, October, November, December. Simple past tense. The simple past tense is necessary in both written and conversational English. One practical method is to start by learning the most commonly used verbs first. List of useful verbs. Go, went, eat, ate, do, did, walk, walked, ride, rode, run, ran, read, read, make, made, drive, drove, listen, listened, watch, watched, use, used, play, Played, drink, drank. Page 39 and 40. We can organize the verbs above into two categories, regular and irregular. The regular verbs are in the past tense when the letters ed are added to them. Irregular verbs are those verbs that do not conform to this formula. Some regular past tense verbs. Listen, listened. Use, used. Walk, walked. Watch, watched. Some irregular verbs. Do, 
dig, drink, drank, drive, drove, eat, ate, go, went, make, made, read, read, ride, rode, run, ran, have, had. When asking a question sentence in the simple past tense, you must use the verb to do in the past tense. For example, did you read the book? Did you study? Did he eat dinner? You can also add a time. Did you watch TV last night? Did Bill eat breakfast this morning? Did she see the doctor yesterday? Chinese foods. Dumplings. Noodles. Mooncake. Dried tofu. Rice. Tofu. Pineapple cake. Soy sauce. Page 41 and 42. Ordering food. The most basic sentence pattern for ordering food is the following. I want, I want, and the name of the food. For example, I want a hamburger. I want a hamburger, fries, and a soda. You can also use would like. This makes the order sound politer and more formal. For example, I would like, I would like a salad fries, and coffee. Sample conversation. <clears throat> Hi. May I take your order? Yes. I would like noodles, french fries, and a soda. Okay. That will be 150 NT. Because. I didn't go to school because I was sick. Sally didn't go to Taipei because she was busy. They study English every day because they plan to go to America next year. Sometimes we can rotate the position of the clauses and use so. In this case, omit the word because. Take the previous three examples. I was sick, so I didn't go to school. Sally was busy, so she didn't go to Taipei. They plan to go to America next year, so they study English every day. Past progressive. I was reading. You were running. They were eating. Pages 43 and 44. I was watching TV. She was eating dinner. Mr. Martinez was studying English. I was riding my bike. She was washing the dishes. One can also add a time or a place. For example, he was riding his bike at 5 p.m. Mr. Johnson was eating dinner at that time. We were reading at 7.30 a.m. You were doing your homework. Question sentences. What were you doing at 7.30 p.m.? What was Bob doing this morning? Using while to express two concurrent events. I was playing basketball while you were doing your homework. Bill was working in America while his son was studying in the UK. Mary was working at the factory while her mother took care of the kids. Sentence pattern. While I was, was, while I was, while you were, while he was, 
Some commonly used transitive verbs. Give, gave. Send, sent. Write, wrote. Bring, brought. Buy, bought. Pass, passed. Lend, lent. Examples. I gave Brian some candy. Sally passes that house every day. Mark buys bread. Direct and indirect objects. An indirect object is the noun which receives the object. A direct object is the noun which receives the action. Example. In a sentence, I gave Mark a bicycle. Mark is the indirect object. And bicycle is the direct object. More examples. Bill sent Amanda a postcard. Nancy wrote Jennifer a letter. My dad bought a car for his wife. Mom, please pass me the turkey. John lent me a pin. Pages 47 and 48. Another way to express the sentence pattern above is subject, verb, direct object, and indirect object. Hence, there are two ways of expressing the aforesaid information. The two patterns, subject, verb, direct object, indirect object, and subject, verb, indirect object, direct object, should be memorized. Examples. I gave chocolate to Sally. I gave Sandy chocolate. Bill sent a letter to me. Bill sent me a letter. Aaron brought flowers for his girlfriend. Aaron brought his girlfriend flowers. Andy bought a pen for Sally. Andy bought Sally a pen. Commands and requests. Mom, please pass me the turkey. John, please lend me a pen. Prohibited actions. Negative commands. No swimming. No running. No touching. No smoking. Don't. Don't run. Don't touch. Don't yell. Pages 49 and 50. Computers and technology vocabulary. Flash drive. Thumb drive. Mouse. CD drive. Monitor. Keyboard. Tablet. Stereo. Smartphone. Internet. Website. There are two ways of expressing some activities. Infinitive versus to go with the present participle. To hike. To go hiking. To swim. To go swimming. To skate. To go skating. I like to hike versus I like to go hiking versus I like hiking. Using like with an infinitive. I like to swim. I like to watch TV. Bill likes to play video games. Using like or want with to go plus a guarantee. I like to go biking. I like to go camping. I want to go skating. Alice wants to go swimming. Like plus the present participle. I like swimming. Bill likes fishing. In the above examples, you can also use the infinitive. I like to swim. 
Bill likes to fish. Question sentences with like plus verb phrases. Like can be used in all three sentence patterns. Want must be followed by an infinitive. Do you like to hike? Do you like to go hiking? Do you like hiking? Do you want to hike? Do you want to go hiking? Pages 51 and 52. Flavor and taste adjectives. Bitter. Spicy. Sweet. Salty. Sour. Sentence patterns with taste and smell. The subject is taste. Examples of linking verbs. The cake is sweet. The cake tastes sweet. The verb be can be used to express taste or smell. The cake is sweet. The soup is salty. The coffee is bitter. The flowers smell nice. The tofu is stinky. Verb with like. The following sense verbs can be used with like. Look. Feel. Smell. Taste. Sound. Look like. Sound like. Taste like. Smell like. Examples. Bill looks like his father. This salad tastes like garbage. Pages 53 and 54. Possessive pronoun review. I, my, mine. You, your, yours. He, his, his, she, her, hers, they, their, theirs, we, our, ours. Examples. This is my bike. This bike is mine. Is that your car? Is that car yours? His car is blue. The blue car is his. The verb to plan. I plan to go to Peru. He plans to do his homework. We plan to visit our grandmother this weekend. Simple future tense. The simple future tense uses the word will or be going to before a verb. Let us begin by using will. Some common phrases in the future tense are I will eat. She will swim. He will walk. I am going to eat. He is going to swim. He is going to walk. We can also add an object or a verb phrase. By the way, you can also use be going to in place of will. Examples. I will eat sandwiches. I am going to eat sandwiches. Pages 55 and 56. I will eat sandwiches. I am going to eat sandwiches. She will swim in the sea. She is going to swim in the sea. They will walk to the park. They are going to walk in the park. Make versus let. Make. Let. Use make with chores, 
homework, or other such activities. Let can be used with activities that you desire to do. Example My mother makes me take out the trash. My dad makes me do my homework. Make your sentences longer. My dad makes me do my homework every day. My dad makes me do my homework every day before I watch TV. Let. My boss won't let me take the weekend off. My husband lets me go out Saturday evenings with my friends. My dad lets me play video games after I finish my homework. Comparative adjectives. Big, bigger. Tall, taller. Heavy, heavier. Happy, happier. Small, smaller. Strong, stronger. Hungry, hungrier. Pretty, prettier. Fat, fatter. Ugly, uglier. Nice, nicer. Fast, faster. Good, better. Bad, worse. Notice that there are generally three different categories of these types of comparatives. For example, Y to IER, as in ugly, uglier. Happy, happier. Skinny, skinnier. If the last vowel is a short one and is followed by a single letter consonant as the last letter of the word, then double that final consonant. For example, fat, fatter, big, bigger, thin, thinner, hot, hotter, sad, sadder. If a word has three or more syllables, two in some cases, then add the word more or less to the adjective. For example, intelligent, more intelligent. Interesting, more interesting. Delicious, more delicious. Examples. Bill is taller than Sally. Dr. Frankenstein is more intelligent than Mr. Roberts. The food in the restaurant is more delicious than the food at my house. Mr. Martinez is heavier than Sally. Page 59 and 60. Superlatives. Tall, tallest. Fat, fastest. Heavy, heaviest. Good, best. Short, shortest. Slow, slowest. Long, longest. Bad, worst. As with comparatives, if the adjective ends with a Y, it must be changed to an I and add ESP. Also, if it has three or more syllables, then we can't just add ESP. We must add the most or the least before it. For example, interesting, the most interesting, beautiful, the most beautiful, colorful, the most colorful. For example, Spanish is my most interesting class this semester. Sally is the most beautiful woman. Adverbs. Fast, fast. Lazy, lazily. Safe, safely. Quiet, quietly. Nice, nicely. Loud, loudly. Quick, quickly. Happy, happily. Good, well. Easy, easily. Warm, warmly. Angry, angrily. 
adverbs versus adjective usage. Bill is fast. Bill runs quickly. Pages 61 and 62. Bill is good at singing. Bill sings well. Sarah is angry. Sarah left angrily. Frank is a loud boy. Frank is loud. Frank talks loudly. In the above examples, adverbs describe the verb and adjectives describe the noun. Some additional adjectives. Hardworking. Humble. Industrious. Good looking. Colorful. Diligent. Strict. Open minded. Two, two. It's too hot to go jogging. I am too tired to drive. So, adjective. I am so happy that I can't sleep. Betsy is so beautiful that many guys want to be her boyfriend. The book is so interesting that I can't put it down. Pages 63 and 64. Quantities. How much does it cost? How much does the car cost? How much is the car? It costs $50,000. The car costs $25,000. How long does it take to... How long does it take to get to Taichung? How long does it take to get to A from B? How long does it take to get to Taichung from Taipei? How far is New York from Los Angeles? It takes blank hours. It takes two hours to get from Taichung to Taipei. If. Use if to state, to state conditionals. In Chinese, it's similar to 除非, 要是, or 如果. I will stay home if it rains. If it rains, I'll stay home. I can go to the beach if I finish my homework. If I finish my homework, I can go to the beach. Before and after. You can use after to express past and future events respectively. I will do my homework before I go to the beach. Before I go to the beach, I will do my homework. Pages 65 and 66. After I finish my homework, I will go to the beach. I will go to the beach after I finish my homework. Subject, verb 1, object, verb 2, object 2. Sentence pattern. I saw Bill riding a bike. I heard the orchestra playing. I watched the baseball team practice. I heard Robert read his poems. Adverbs of frequency. Always. Sometimes. Never. Usually. Rarely or seldom. I always do my homework. He rarely eats meat. She never smokes. Other useful phrases. Once a week. Twice a month. Three times a year. Every day. Every evening. Every morning. I eat salad once a week. Mr. Johnson watches TV every day. She bathes once a year. Pages 67 and 68. 
question. How often, how often do you go to Taipei? How often does he brush his teeth? How often does your mom go shopping? <laughs>